I have the keyword switch and I have the parameters here. So they have given expression. What exactly expression is all about? If the value is one, lock one will be executed. Suppose if the value is two, lock two will be executed. Say for example, I have x is equal to a is greater than b. This is the condition that I'm checking with the conditional operator. So what is that I'm passing? I'm passing a, passing a this switch. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another important session on decision making and branching. So fine, so guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to the channel. And I request all of you, please click on the like button if you like the content. That is the inspiration for me in fact. So fine, what is that I have in this session? So I will be discussing some of the important topics like switch case and also I will be discussing the conditional statements. What exactly switch case is all about? So let me explain that first. So fine, I have to use the keyword called switch. So what is the keyword that I have to use? Switch. Let's understand how exactly it is working. So before that, I will explain the syntax to all of you. So let's get familiar with the syntax. Later on, I will explain the functionality of switch. I have the keyword switch and I have the parenthesis here. So they have given expression. What exactly expression is all about? Let's say a is equal to one. So I will be passing this a as a parameter to this function. So fine. So what exactly happens after this? So I have multiple cases in this switch case. I can have multiple cases. So what happens here is, so I have the keyword case. After that, I have to give the value. So that value is what? So please understand, say for example, I've given one, two, and three, case three, case four, case five, like that I can give the value. So it will check what exactly the value of A that I have passed. Suppose if the value of A is one, so it will check, so case one. So this case one will be executed. Only this case will be executed. Rest everything will be skipped. In the same way, suppose if I have passed A as two, A value as two, I have passed this A. So what happens, only this case Two will be executed, rest everything will be skipped, not even one. So it will skip one also, a rest everything will be skipped, only two is skipped. Suppose you have entered or you have sent some invalid number. What happens at that time? So it will not execute any of the cases, it will execute the default case. It will execute the default case. Point number one that you need to remember. Point number two, sir, how exactly it is executing only one block? So please observe what happens is it is switching to the particular case with the value that you are passing with the value that you are passing. So fine, I have passed two. So directly it is switching to this case. So it will start executing all the statements, whatever I have in the case two. Then after that, what? So please observe, I have the break statement. Please observe, I have the break statement. If at all, if I encounter this break statement, I will come out of this block completely. So that is what you need to remember. Whenever I encounter the break statement, I will come out of this block completely. That's what you need to remember with respect to the switch statement. So fine. So let's understand with respect to the flowchart. So what is that I have? I have switch expression. So that's what you need to remember. If the value is one, block one will be executed. Suppose if the value is two, block two will be executed. If the value is three, block three will be executed. So like that, it will go on. Suppose if I have the invalid entry, I don't have the block values properly. So I have entered something else. So at that time, default block will be executed. So that's what you need to remember with respect to the switch case. Let me explain this program again in the practical part. So you will understand it very clearly. Before going to that, so let me explain the conditional operator. This is what I will call it as a conditional operator. How exactly this is working? Say for example, let me uh, not confuse you with a big uh, expression. Let me make it very simple. So how exactly we have, say for example, A is equal to 10, all right? B is equal to 20. So what happens here? Say for example, I have X is equal to A is greater than B. This is the condition that I'm checking with the conditional operator. This question mark is what I will call it as a conditional operator. So if this condition or if this statement is true, so whatever I write here, that will be stored in this variable. 
okay that will be stored in this variable what what is that so after this is what i will call as a true statement or true block if this statement is true whatever i write here so that will be written to this variable so after that i have to write the colon so and i will be writing the false block so this will be executed if this condition is false so that's what you need to remember with respect to the conditional statement so let me show you the live demo of these two things by executing the programs. So welcome back to my practical session on switch case and conditional operator. So hope all of you are able to see this. So guys, uh, I have the program here. So all of you are able to see this. Yes, hope you can. And I have the main function. I think you all know about the main function, right? So I don't have to speak about it again. I have the switch statement. So please observe. So this is what I have explained uh, in the theory class. So I have the switch, okay? So what is that I'm passing? I'm passing A. I'm passing A to this switch. So what exactly is happening? So I have case 1, case 2, I have case 3 and I have default. Suppose if the value of this A is 1, so this case 1, so this value and this value is matching. Suppose if this value and this value is matching, whatever I have in this case 1, that will be executed. So I can have n number of statement. I can have one program itself I can have inside the case. Anything I can have. So when that statement will be executed, when it matches with the case number, that's what you need to remember. So fine, after executing this statement, I'm encountering with a break statement. So what happens with the break statement? So if I encounter with the break statement, so everything will be skipped. I will skip with all the statements. Only this statement will be executed. Suppose, imagine I have entered A is equal to two. So it will check. Is case value is 1? No, it is not equal to 1. So it will go to the next case. Is case value is equal to 2? Yes, it is equal to 2. So fine, whatever the statement that I have inside this case, that will be executed. Then once I encounter this break statement, so it will execute everything whatever I have. This is how it is testing. Again, it is testing for case 3. So let me imagine like, you know, I have A3. So only this block will be executed. Not this, not this. All right. After that, I'm encountering the break statement. So that's what you need to remember. Then suppose I have entered A is equal to 4. Do I have case 4 here? No, I don't have. At that time, so this default block will be executed. That's what you need to remember. Sir, you have not given the break statement here. So should I give the break statement though it is a last statement? So let's check that. Okay. Let me show you that in the live demo. So let's execute this. So what is the right now A value? So A value is 1. So let's check that. Let me run this. So shift F6. So case 1 is executing. So fine. So you all know that. So let me change the A value now. All right. Let me change the A value as 2. Let me save the program and run. All right. So case 2 is executing now. So please observe. Only this statement has been executed. So let me change the A value to 3. All right. So... Let me change it to 3. So save it and F6. So case 3 is executing. So fine. Then again, let me change this A value to 4. All right. So it should show me the invalid entry. Let's check that. All right. Uh, so invalid entry. So guys, this is how the switch statement is working. So I can have, say for example, I will be using this you know, for the calculator purpose, one in the sense, addition, two in the sense, subtraction, three in the sense, multiplication. So you can implement this. I want all of you to try out this program and, uh, you know, send me in the comment box if you are really watching my session and following, all right? So I'll be very happy if you comment it. Uh, and if you are learning, you know, if you are finding it interesting this way, so please don't forget to click on the like button. So let me explain the conditional operator. That is the next part. So I have already spoken about this. Observe here, I have two variables. So A and B, all right? So I need to find out the biggest of two numbers. How do I check with the conditional operator? Let's check that. So here is the syntax for me. I have taken one more variable that is X of type int. So fine, A is greater than B. I'm just checking the condition. I'm just checking A is greater than B. If that is true, so you should return A. If it is false, it should return B. Okay, so what is that I have in the B? So I have 20 in the B. So what is that I have in the A? I have 10 in the A. So let's check that which one is the biggest. So let me save it and let me run this. 
So I'm getting 20, so 20 in the sense B. So this condition is not true. So let me change the A value now. So let me change it to 30 now. Okay, what should be the output now? I should get, I should get 30. So let me run this. So am I getting 30? Yes, I'm getting 30. So this is how my conditional operator is working. So what is that I'm doing here? Please observe here. I'm, I'm just printing the X value, whatever I have. So that's what I'm doing. This is how the conditional operator is working. All right, so this is all about the session. So please don't forget to watch it and uh, please don't forget to share it with your friends so that it can help others also to learn it easily. Thank you very much. Take care of your health, take care of your parents, take care of your family. Thank you everybody.